Module 3 starts with a topic about Fourier series. This video lecture is part 1 of lesson 1. At the end of this chapter, you should be able to determine the Fourier series representation of a function of one variable, solve the wave equation, diffusion, and Laplace equations using Fourier series, determine the Fourier or Hilbert transform of a function of a real variable. Fourier series is one important aspect. Fourier series analysis. These are infinite series which represent uh, the periodic functions in terms of cosine and sine functions. The Fourier series are used to solve ordinary differential equations in connection with force oscillations and the appro approximation of periodic functions. It provides a precise method that will describe complex mathematical structures found in designing antennas and signal processing. It is also a powerful tool in solving linear partial differential equations that involves heat conduction and wave equations. Fourier series is an infinite series that represents a periodic function in terms of cosine and or sine functions. Uh, f, the function f of x is equal to a sub o plus the sum of this func function in terms of cosine and sine function from n equals to 1 to positive infinity where a sub o is obtained by this integral 1 over 2l from uh, integral of f of x dx uh, from negative l to positive l a sub n here is 1 over l integral from negative l to l f of x multiplied by cosine n by x over l dx where n starts with 1, 2, 3, and so on. And then for B sub n, this is obtained by evaluating this integral. Okay? We, from A sub n, we just replace cosine by the sine function. Also, n will take the values 1, 2, 3, and so on. The Coefficients A sub N and B sub N are called the Fourier coefficients. Fourier series converges to the value of the function f of x at every point in the in interval from negative L to L, except possibly at the endpoints and the points of discontinuity. The sum of the series obviously will have a period of 2L. Now, let's talk about the convergence of the Fourier series. If any arbitrary function is finite over a given period, then according to Dirichlet, the Fourier series converges. The convergence theorem, this is the first convergence theorem, it states that if f of x is a piecewise continuous, in the interval negative L to L and it is periodic outside of the period with period 2L then the Fourier series will converge at each point x of negative L to L to f of x itself or one half of the sum of f of x plus and f of x minus. This means that at each value of x between negative l and l, 
the Fourier series converges to the average of the left and right limits of f of x at x. If x, uh, uh, if the function contains a jump discontinuity at x. Now, if f of x is continuous at x, then the Fourier series converges to the function itself. But if the function has a jump discontinuity at x, then the series converges to the point midway in the gap. This is the, this is the limit of the function as x approaches x from the left. This is the limit of the function as x approaches x from the right. Okay, so consider a function f of x, so this is a piecewise continuous, we find the convergence of the Fourier series in the interval negative 1 to 4. So if we try to graph the equation, okay, your f of x is 2 at x equals negative 1. So this is just a point at x equals negative 1. But between negative 1, okay, and positive 1, the function is x, so this is a straight line from negative 1 to positive 1. And then between 1 and 2, the graph is uh, a parabola, 1 plus x squared. When x is equal to 1, you have 2 here. And then it ends with x equals 2, 2 squared plus 1. So the value of y here is 5. And then from 2 to 4, so this is the closed interval. The function is constant at 6, so this is horizontal no? from x equals 2 to 4. Now we compute for the limits at the points of discontinuity, you know, within negative 1 to 4. So between negative 1 to 4, we have x equals 1 and x equals 2 uh, point, uh, are, are points of discontinuity. So let's start with x equals 1 from the left. Okay. So the function to the left of 1 is the function x. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the left, okay, will be equal to, uh, will be equal to 1, okay? Because at x equals 1, you have 1 here. So it ends with x equals 1. And then one, uh, at x equals 1 from the right, we take the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right. The graph to the right of 1 is the parabola. So when x is equal to 1, we substitute. So 1 plus 1 squared, okay, we get 2. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right is 2. Okay. And then 2 from, uh, two from the left, the graph is a parabola. So the limit will be 1 plus 2 squared so equals 5. Okay, so it starts with y equals 5. And then the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. If this is 2 from the from the right. Okay, so this is 2. Is the function constant function 6?
on the interval negative 1 to 1, f of x is continuous. This is the function f of, f, f of x equals x. So at each, at each value of x on this interval, the Fourier series will converge to x. But at x equals 1, where there is a jump, discontinuity, the series will convert to midway or to, to the average of this uh, two-sided limits. So this is 1 half 1 plus 2, 1.5. And then on the interval 1, 2, f of x is continuous. This is a, a parabola. So at each value of x on 1, 2, the Fourier series will convert to the parabola 1 plus x squared. But at x equals 2, the series should converge at the midpoint. We get the average 1 half of 5 plus 6, which is 5.5. So finally, f of x is continuous on the interval 2, 4, because this is a constant function. And therefore, the series will converge to f of x equals 6. Okay, so to summarize, the Fourier series therefore will converge to x from negative 1 to 1 at x equals 1 is 1.5. In the interval 1 to 2, 1 uh, to the parabola 1 plus x squared. And then at x equals 2, 5.5. And then for the interval 2 to 4, it, convert, it will converge to the constant 6. Note that the solution here does not consider the convergence of the Fourier series at the endpoints. The second convergence series theorem will compute the convergence at the endpoint. So we will not discuss the second con convergence series, so you may explore this topic. Okay, which is also related to the first convergence uh, theorem.